last sat here. Um, just brought the Chapter House Studios Storm Raven True Scale Extension Kit. And here are all the pieces. Um, you get two side pieces there, a new uh, flooring panel, a roof panel, blanking plate for the turret, blanking plate for the intake vent, and a new dreadlock harness. Okay then, I shall move all that way. Show you how a few bits go together. Here's the side of the Storm Raven here. Just around that way. Here we have uh, this side, I believe. No, that side was right. Okay then. So they fit together thusly as we can see. They do fit together with a really nice clean fit. Um, very limited green stuff, so a tiny bit down there. I do like the way the panel lines flow into each other. And um, so it's going to look like a really nice kit, actually look part of the model. Um, it's obviously prevalent on the other side as well. There's interior detailing, your computer screen there, which all fits in with the interior detailing of the original Storm Raven kit. Um, here's a flooring. That's pretty well warped, but most resin kits are, as we know, from Forge World. Um, there's a new flying base mount there. That is because obviously the weight of the model will be offset, so that should readjust for that. There is no decking, it's just a plain piece of resin there. I'm planning to find some checkerboarding to go on there to make that fit in with the rest of the model. New roof panel, obviously an extension panel. This shape here is for the intake vent, we'll sit on there. Um, just some detailing on the inside there. This is the turret blanking plate, if you wish to not have the turret. I will be using this. I'm sure I can find another use of some other project sometime. Okay then, that's the exhaust, the original exhaust blanking plate. That will fit just in there, so you just don't have a blank piece of plastic there, some panelling detail. And here we have the new dreadnought harness. So we have the bit which were attached to the, the um, Storm Raven. The harness itself, yeah, it will fit together nicely. It looks more like a sturdier harness for a dreadnought. It actually carry a dreadnought. Also, I'll be using on my Storm Raven build. It's a Grey Knight Storm Raven build. It is the Forge World Rhino rear hatch, which doubles up perfectly for the front hatch of the Storm Raven with the Inquisition detailing there and all the Latin Demon Estaminatus detailing there and there on the back as you can see is the checkering plate I was talking about which I wish to put on the floor. Also again on this store even I will be using or installing some position lights as you can see there. Now these are flashing position lights by painted did them and they were static um, and I'm going to use most of his way how he wrote, routed the wires through the Storm Raven. The only difference is I'm going to need to somehow fit in this circuit board which is what makes the lights flash through these two little pointer meters here. Various resistors, capacitors and transistors. I'm sure I'll find a place for it somewhere. Also it's running off this button cell here which works perfectly fine. Um, the kit for that flashing light is from Vellum. Right way up. Um, found it on the internet eventually after seeing someone on YouTube did it to their um, Thunderhawk. Um, comes completely unassembled, and I mean completely unassembled. You will need to get your solder iron. I can't solder for my life, but I managed to do it somehow. So it's pretty self explanatory. Uh, self -explanatory. There's pretty clear instructions. Just take your time, and I'm sure you'll work fine. I shall put some of this together and make a video next time. Thank you.